magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. <coughs> magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Yes, of the name of Jesus, glorify the Lord with me. Yes, of the name of Jesus, glorify the Lord with me. Yes, of the name of Jesus, glorify the Lord with me. Yes, of the name of Jesus, glorify the Lord with me. Yes, of the name of Jesus. Lord, magnify the Lord with me. Yes, of the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Yes, of the name of Jesus. Almighty Father of God, say, Lord, we glorify your name. We magnify your name. We exalt your name. Oh, you are worthy to be praised. You are worthy to be adored. You are worthy to be magnified. You are awesome God, you are mighty God, you are everlasting Father. We must shake and hold the book of the Hakanda. Ramanda, the book of the book of the Hakanda, the book of the book of the book of the Hakanda, shake and hold the book of the Hakanda. Ramanda, the book of the book of the book of the Hakanda, the book of the book of the Hakanda, shake and hold. Ramanda, the book of the book of the book of the book of the Hakanda, the book of the book of the book of the book of the Hakanda, shake and hold. Ramanda, the book of the book of the book of the book of the Hakanda, shake and hold. Ramanda, Father, we thank you, we bless your name, we magnify your name. For all the previous spiritual breakfast, we thank you for all that you did. Oh, we don't take away what you have done for granted, we just want to say thank you, Daddy. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. And Father, I commit to this spiritual breakfast unto you, and as a Father, you will perform wonders. You perform wonders in our lives, perform wonders in our marriage, perform wonders in every area of our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to return all the glory, all the honor, all the worship, praise, and thanks in advance for what you are going to do today in the name of Jesus. Once again, I welcome you to Spiritual Breakfast, a program, a program that all shines into to every day's blessing, a program that all shines into the daily blessings. And we are, I pray for you that God will touch you and God will bless you mightily today in the name of Jesus. We are still on Let There Be Light, and where today is 178 broadcast of Let There Be Light. And our test is still taken from <coughs> we still taking from Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. And it says, And God said, Let there be light, and must there was light. I did kind of come and prophesy. But the mandate of every upon the power has invested in me. That the Almighty God will arise in his mercies and compassion for you, and arise in his anger, his wrath and fury. And to permanently silence, so for permanently silence forever all your enemies, all the enemies of your life, all the enemies of your marriage, all the enemies of, of your family, all the enemies of your business, all the enemies of your destiny, all the enemies of stars, all the enemies of your glory, all the enemies of your blessing, all the enemies of your joy, all the enemies of your fruitfulness, all the enemies of your ministry. God will arise in his anger fuel and wrote and judge all your enemies and permanently silence them in the name of Jesus. Psalm 54 verse 5 says, He shall reward evil unto my enemies, call them off in thy truth. But the man of heaven upon my life, the powers invested me, I declare and I command, and I prophesy that the Almighty God will reward all your enemies for every evil they have done to you, all the evil they have done to you, all the evil they have done to your family, your business, your ministry, your marriage. God is going to reward them according to the law of harvest. God will reward them, God will judge them, and God will destroy them. And they shall be permanently destroyed, and the destruction shall last forever. In the mighty name of Jesus, Ramo Shakando Rimurkundo, Nikaman Mogunimur Hakimando Shakando Mukundo, by the mandate of every power and the powers invested me. I declare a command that prophesy that all your enemies shall be desolate, all your enemies shall be destroyed and desolate. Their destruction shall last forever, their desolation shall last forever, and they shall be put in permanent shame 
They shall be put to permanent shame. I declare and I command by the mandate of heaven upon the land the powers invested in me. And I decree in Jesus' name, amen. By the mandate of heaven upon the land, the powers invested in me, I declare and I command and I prophesy that the Almighty God who kills and makes, who kills and makes alive, oh, will judge all your enemies and, and judge all their enemies permanently. In accordance to his word in, Psalm, in Isaiah 41, verse 10 to 13. And all the enemies you have seen yesterday, you shall see them no more. All the enemies that says against you shall be as nothing, they shall be as a thing of the Lord. You shall look for them, you shall not find them. God will permanently arise and crush and grind to ashes all your enemies, all your enemies, and their destruction shall last forever in the name of Jesus. Rambo Shakando Rimoko Himakinda Shikando Rimokondo. Rekanda Rimoko Hakamando Rimoko Hakimando Shakando Rimokondo. Rimamando Rimokondo Rimoko Hakamando Shakando Rimokondo. By the mandate of heaven upon the powers invested by the eternal commander and a prophesied that the Almighty God will cut off, will cut all, cut off all your enemies. We cut off all your enemies. They shall be cut off. They shall be totally cut off. All the enemies shall be cut off from the surface of the earth. All your enemies shall be cut off from the surface of the earth. The word of God says, Every plan my heavenly father's not place shall be pulled down and rooted out. God will root out all your enemies. They shall be cut off from the surface of the earth. They shall be cut off out of existence. They shall be cut off out of life. They shall be caught up and they shall be destroyed, and they shall be destroyed physically, spiritually, and supernaturally in the mighty name of Jesus. And they will be permanently silent. God will permanently silence them. God will permanently silence them. And they shall be not, they shall never trouble you any longer. I declare that command and prophesy by the mandate of heaven upon the powers invested in in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to I'll tell you that the Bible says, uh, Shall we continue to see that grace my power? Because say, God forbid. God expects us to live a righteous and holy life. Holiness is a shield. Holiness is a protection. When you live a holy life, the devil cannot attack you. When you live a holy life, you shield yourself from every attack of the enemy. When you live a righteous lifestyle, you, only, you shield yourself from every attack of the enemy. Holiness is an age. It's a age. Holy, holy lifestyle and righteous lifestyle is a age. And if you know of a shorty, you are not a child of God. You don't expect to receive. You cannot expect to see, receive from the God you do not know. You cannot expect to receive from the God you do not serve. And so if you want to be delivered and healed and blessed, and you know of a shorty, you are not a child of God. I want you to go on your knees right now and confess all your sins. And ask that God be merciful and just and compassionate and cleanse you from all righteousness. Ask that the blood of God that cleanse you from all sin will cleanse you and make you as white as snow. And God will begin to touch you, then you can be sure of this deliverance. Do that quickly as I continue to complete the decrees. Do that quickly in the mighty name of God. I demand of heaven upon all the powers invested me. I did not come and prophesy. That the Almighty God will give you all wrong deliverances from all the evil powers and demon powers assigned against you. God will give you total and permanent deliverances, total and permanent deliverance and salvation in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. And by the mandate of heaven, upon the powers invest in me. I did not command and prophesy that you will maintain a life of holiness and righteousness, which is a hedge around you. And whatever will cause the hate over your life to be broken will never come your way. God will hinder you from living in the sinful life that will cause your hate to be broken. Because if you are giving your life to Christ today and God has delivered you, and you go back to sin, the hate will be broken and the enemy will take over you again and they will afflict you. And the Bible says your condition will be worse than the first one. So that the thing that will cause you to go back to your body. God will never allow you to come to pass. Give your life to Jesus and maintain a holy life and a righteous life. And that which God has done to you, God for you today, will last forever in the day of Just this where our program is going to end today. As you same time, five o'clock tomorrow. Join me on my Facebook page on my on my join me on my on my personal blog, Pastor J King. We're all on the church page. Victory in just Pentecostal Church of God. God bless you. I see you same time tomorrow, five a.m. In Jesus' name, Amen.